Aerospace Engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am, it is Mod Wednesday. So, today's mod is an interesting mod. It's one that I found here uh, a couple of months ago that, that I, once I found it, I've started using it uh, considerably. Uh, what I like about the mod is it's uh, being able to connect and look a little bit more realistic. It's called Tethers, Power Poles, and the Log Spam Patch. Uh, but really, it's Tethers and Power Poles. What it allows you to, and it's by Fallon Plays. Actually, he has taken over the mod from another individual, uh, which uh, has graciously let him continue on with the mod and uh, provide support on it. So, what Tethers and Power Poles does is allows you to connect different bases by using tethers or power poles. And you can do that uh, like this. Now, first off, I'll show you. It's not actually in the power tree or the uh, tree, the, the blueprints tree. The way I found it is I just type power and it's this right here power line pillar and then I drop it right down in and there we have it so now you have uh, just a minute here I need to change something uh, let's do that so you have a what you call a power line pillar and actually we'll just go right over here and put these down like this so you can see them and then we'll actually do a connection so there's that uh, you have a charging station which is that you have power power sockets which is that and then you have a, a transformer pylon which is that one right there. So you got four different blocks. Now, I'm going to grind one of these down and show you not to be surprised when you're putting these in. It's a little, little interesting. Uh, but if we take this and say grind that down. So when you first place the block, it's going to look like that if, when you're in survival. Now I'm in creative so it actually just built it but all you got to do is uh, plop it down wherever you want it and uh, weld it and there it is right there for you so what can you do with this well a couple of things you can set up a charging station and I'm going to uh, let's see if I can uh, put one in right here. Let's get this out of the way. And we're going to put a, uh, a charge. I, I think that's close enough. I'm not sure. But let's see. Let's just throw a charging station right here. Now you do, you connect these up by not having anything in your hands and you go over here and you do a uh, right click, or actually I'm sorry, a left click and then it lets you place your cable. Now let's see if this is close enough over here that we can connect this up. Uh, Uh, come on, let's get up here. There we go. Line turns green, and then you just do another uh, left click, and it's got the logic click connections. Now this, what uh, this will charge up your vehicle. If you want to remove it, you just do a right. Uh, let's go down here, and we can do a right click and it removes the connection. So it really makes it easy and you don't have to have the bulky connectors 
to try to connect your vehicle up so you can get it charged. And it just looked to me looks a little more uh, more realistic. Now, if you wanted to, let's say we want to connect this base where the power is up to this base up here. So what I would do is I would put in uh, I would put in a transformer pylon. That's just my preference, but you could use a transformer pylon or you can use a power line pillar. But I'm going to use the transformer pylon. Get it back up here. There it is. And plop that right there. Now I have a light uh, hooked up right here. As, there's, as you can see, there's no power to it. So let's uh, put uh, something in. Now, you could probably run this aligned all the way down. But I'd like to at least make it look a little more realistic. So I would put a uh, something like this here. And then we would put our power little pillar, power line pillar right here. And so we would have that in, maybe throw another one in right, right about here. And we'll just kind of, so again, like you don't have to have these all in line on the grid. There we go. Now let's uh, get our power line pillar in. There we go. And then we could throw a another transformer pylon right here. All right. So now we would go no hands. We would do a get up here close to it where you can see it highlights. Do a left click. Then we would do cable placement. Fly up here or walk up to here depending on what you're playing with. And then we would connect this up so it's got connected to there. Now we would do the same thing. We would go here, do a left click. It's going to generate a cable. And we're going to come up here and connect it to there. So now we've got power to this point right here. And then let's do one more. There we go. We got our power. We come up to our pylon. There we go. And as you can see now, we've got power and our lights are on. And to me, that looks a little more realistic, right? Instead of having blocks lined all the way out there to try to connect the two bases or have to dig underground to try to connect them with pipes or invisible pipes and whatnot. So that to me looks a lot better. Uh, so that is tethers and power poles. There was one more thing I wanted to mention. Uh, oh, you can't have multiple. In other words, I couldn't run a power line off of here now over to here and then run it off to somewhere else. So you can't have multiple connections coming into your base or like you can't have multiple connections for your vehicles. In other words, you have this one going to that vehicle. If you wanted a second vehicle, you would have to have a second charging station plopped down here to connect into that second vehicle. Other than that, uh, the, I really like this mod uh, just for the simple fact that 
it looks so much more natural having a power lines running up to wherever they need to go. All right, well, that's Mod Wednesday, tethers and power lines, uh, power poles. I think you'll like it. Uh, uh, Fallon Plays explains that it's still kind of experimental. I have not ever run into any problems with this, so it's worked perfect for me. But just keep in mind, uh, check out his uh, uh, Steam Workshop, and you can click on the link below, and that'll take you to his uh, workshop. Uh, and uh, check it out. Give it a try. I think you'll like it a lot. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this week's mod. Uh, please leave comments. Let me know down below if, uh, what you think of uh, Mod Wednesday, and if there's anything else that you'd like for me to... Uh, uh, talk about. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and catch you all in next week's video. This is Commander Kingfish and I am out of here. Thanks for watching everyone.